Greetings, minions, survivalists, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade playing Seven Days to Die. And this is a bonus episode. Uh, I think it's, like, bonus number two, I guess. Uh, in this episode, which I'm hoping will be brief, chances are it won't, we are going to basically kind of test out the ranges for explosives. So, I've restarted the game from scratch. Now, I still have my solo game, okay? I just made a new game from scratch, and uh, basically just creative menued in all the goodies that I would need. Uh, I also jacked up some of my skills a little bit because I made a mistake when I made this little structure here, and I had to use a pickaxe to destroy a block, and instead of starting all over again, I figured, well, hell, I need the mining tool skill. So, there was that. Uh, one thing I do need to do is uh, put a little light on the subject here. So, what we'll do here. Hell with it, why not? So we'll get some lights out here, try to brighten things up so you can see things a little bit better. And I done f screwed that one up. There we are. Yeah, it puts out some good light there. Hopefully it's not overly saturated, but, you know, it is what it is. Anywho, back to what we're going to do. Um, when you make... TNT. Let's uh, uh, let's go into the right menu here. Um, yes. So uh, TNT dynamite. Okay. Uh, it takes one plant fiber, fifty gunpowder, some duct tape, and ten paper. So they're kind of on the expensive side. So considering that's the cost of it you're probably going to want to make sure you make the best use of it and kind of know what the damage range is for one stick of TNT. So what we're going to do is we will put a stick of TNT out here and lay it on flat level ground, nothing around it. This is just essentially fertile soil here. And we'll blow it up and you can see I'm going to go in my safety bunker. Because, you know, Mythbusters do it all the time, right? So we're going to see what the blast radius is for one stick of TNT. Alright, that was pretty cool. So as you can see, we put the block for the TNT. Actually, it's, um, I'm just going to warp in some wood frames. Okay, so if I recall, and I probably should have made a mark of this earlier, but about dead center here, let's see. Okay, so it's not quite symmetrical, so it's probably like right there is where we put it. <coughs> Excuse me. Either that or it's something like right here in the dead center. So this here should give you a little bit of a measurement for what the blast radius is on fertile soil, mind you, for one stick of TNT. Now, what we're going to do, um, we are going to put one stick of TNT uh, on some rock because... It has a little bit tougher material strength than fertile soil does. So let's see how that goes. Shouldn't be too much difference. Ah, you see, part of the problem is the debris. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Uh, some of this just blasted back in, but you get the idea that 
right about here is where the TNT was, and it blasted that whole pile of rock that was on the ground to oblivion. And we got all these things floating around out here. All right, so that is basically what it is on bare ground and on stone. So the reason why you want to know this is so you can use the least amount of TNT to do the most damage that you want to do, say, for mining or for ground clearing. Um, you know, you get basic idea for what that's all about. So, like, for fertile soil, it's basically, well, I would say three squares this way, three squares that way, that way. It'd be right about in the middle of where these four combine, I guess. It's not exactly a science on my end, but hey, you know. So now we're going to try something a little more fun. We're going to try it on asphalt. And we're going to line it up with that window. We'll try to get it a little bit scientific here. Alright. Alright, so we're not even... Well, maybe we can get inside there and shoot it. Let's see. So on asphalt... Maybe we can get a piece of it. Ready, set. Kaboom. Ooh, that sounds pretty. Alright, so as you can see... I <laughs> blew that one frame the hell. Um, it would have been right here. Yeah, right here is where the TNT was. And you can see the blast radius. Now, also bear in mind that a lot of the material that was blasted kind of fell back into it. Okay, so that's what it's like on asphalt, also kind of on the edge uh, where it goes downhill. So that can kind of skew things a little bit too, I'm sure. Now, let's try it in here. And this is elevated, so that might, might change things. It's also in an awning, so don't expect it to... Uh, be impervious. <laughs> Kaboom. So, elevated one block on awning. Um, didn't touch the ground below it. So there may be a depth reading you can get off, off of that where it essentially just blasts down one block and out a ways. But that didn't quite convince me so let's go with and let's see we do it off over here I guess I'm thinking that wood frames are a bit tougher only marginally tougher I'm sure but we'll try it this way Shove a stick in the middle. Um, get in there. There you go. Okay, that... That's interesting. That's all wood frames blasted around there. Yeah. So yeah, it blasted it. The debris... The, there was no debris with the awning. It was totally disintegrated. This stuff, it just left a lot of debris behind. In fact, let's tr let's just put it on a rock just for giggles if we can. And apparently I can't. So we will just set it... Um, I need the space over there. So let's just set it right there. You've got to be very, very careful.
There we go. That should be good. Let's see. Can we see it? Oh, barely. Yeah, I can't see it from here. Too good to be to be sure of the shot. Okay, there it is. No more rock pile. <laughs> so there's that. All right. So we tried it with wood frames. Let's try. Uh, let's let's upgrade some some of this to uh, the next level up, I guess. And the reason why you'd want to know about this is because if you want to blast a house, you know what? Instead of going to just this level, let's go. Let's advance it a little bit more. In PvP, this might be something you might want to know. Might be useful in if you want to destroy a house to get it out of your way. So let's let's do that, shall we? Now, that's the thing is, I'm drawing uninvited company. Hey, I'm filming here, screaming Mimi, chill your ass. Shooting like horrible, but anywho, let's get back to business. Seriously, lady. You. Enough. Thank you. So we get these in. We will insert the blowy uppy sticky I love. Step on a cactus. Because we can. So this is what dynamite will do to a simple structure like this made out of sheet metal. Just blasts the guts right out of it. That was freaking sweet. <laughs> As you can see, yeah, it just blasted all the wood right clean out of it. And we can rebuild again. We have the technology. Okay, so that was a lesson learned. Alright, so we got we'll go all up to reinforce concrete. Why the hell not, right? Come on. Ah, hit boxes. Okay, so this, I'm, I have to kind of push to get this going here. So let's see if maybe advancing the day will make this dry or cure. Mm, 
now. Apparently that's not going to cut it. Yeah, messing with time. Doc Brown has taught me many lessons about that. Not interested in that. So, anyways, I can't speed up time for this video to get it to cure. So, we'll just go at it anyways. And this should show how tough this material is at this stage. Not very. Just, okay, so what we'll do now is, let's see... And we'll try it with steel blocks. Why the hell not? I mean, it's the next logical step up. And I believe this is like the highest end upgrade you can do for this type of material, or for these materials. So, it'd be worth uh, seeing how well steel stacks up to dynamite. Alright, so let's give her a whirl, shall we? Ooh. Definitely crack some stuff. I mean, every single block has been cracked. And there's your damage report right there. So basically, one stick of dynamite will knock a steel block down to half. So let's try it with two sticks. If you're going to have one, might as well try two. Now, the thing with multiple sticks is it has a chain reaction. They have to be within range of each other to set each other off in a row. And I'm not exactly sure if it multiplies the damage dealt. <laughs> okay, so it blasts the living shit out of the ground around it. <laughs> and um, it blew a whole level off the front. So let's uh, let's try it again. Well, actually, no, I didn't blow up the whole. I thought it blew off one row there. Interesting. Let's do it again because blowing up stuff is really fun. All right, so that time it did blow out a little more. So we'll just keep at it. Why the hell not? And it go bye-bye. And everywhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a cactus there. <laughs> I thought I was getting hit by the debris. Which, it can happen. So, you know. Bear that in mind. And as you can see... Um, well, there you can see. There's crushed sand. More crushed sand. Fertile dirt. Um, I'm sure if we went down a little bit lower, we'd be hitting iron. And other ores and material. So, there's that. Wow. Well, let's have some fun with this, shall we? <laughs> Yikes! See, this is why I made the steel bunker. <laughs> yeah, 
Anywho, as you saw, there is two sticks in fairly close proximity to each other. And when one went off, it chain reacted to the other and kind of like a delayed fuse type thing and set it all off. So here's an, an example of how to do this uh, in a chain reaction setup. So we got one, a space, one, a space, one, a space. This time I will get in the bunker. Okay, so it's right there, and... <laughs> that was lovely. And stuff still falling from the sky. <laughs> so, if you want to make an Olympic-sized swimming pool, there's how you do it. And, uh... Right on. Now you you could do this in different patterns. So let's see. We'll try it out here on the asphalt. It might have a different effect. So let's see. We'll do a giant S. I said S, not ass. Right. Ah, oh, shoot. Alright, so mistakes happened. And I added one too many sticks on the ground. Zombies are coming. You don't want to take a whack at those with an axe. It'll give you a bad day. Okay, so let's uh, carefully Alright, so I'm going into God mode and fly up and that's kind of what it looks like when you do it in a half-ass S Alright, where are you at, lady? Oh, there you are Dope There, I got you. And you brought friends, didn't you? And you didn't have the c courtesy to die. Come on. You didn't need kidneys. Didn't need lungs. Didn't need... Wow. We got a fan club. He didn't have a head. So we're just going to get on top of the roof. Now, as you may notice in my toolbar, I have dynamite and I have... Well, I have TNT, and then I have dynamite. This is delicious. Alright, so... Right click. Left click. So basically, right click will light it. Left click, hold, then let go to throw. So, right click, hold left, and throw. That's not good. <laughs> there we go. Get him back in the hole here. So if you light it, hold and drop real quick. The longer you hold it, the farther you throw, but also the, sh the sooner it'll explode. Like that. Excellent. Alright, so that's what it is with dynamite. Now let's try it with pipe bombs. Same concept, right click, left click, hold, then let go to throw. Now 
They don't do as much damage to the ground. They will damage the ground, but not as much. So uh, let's try it over here. See, it didn't blow up the, w the wooden frame. So we'll try it with the dynamite. Yeah, so that's the difference between the two. And I don't even know if you can make the dynamite or t stick a dynamite there for uh, that you can light and throw in the menu. I'm not 100% on that. Okay, so let's see. What's well, we could do cobblestone frames. See how that goes. So we'll fly over here. We'll make uh, this, uh, this, uh, this. Oops. See, I'm still in hover modes, uh, or god mode, so... It's a little wonky on the controls. And yes, wonky is the technical term. You know, gotta speak science to do science, right? <laughs> I'm sure that Stephen Hawking... Hawking? Honking. Ha! Ah! Uh, uses wonky as a measurement of what the hell. Oh, shoot, I messed that up. Dang it. Alright, there we go. Alright, so let's stick some TNT. Oop, did I get that one in there? Apparently not. There we go. Okay, first of all, another thing you can do with pipe bombs and uh, the throwing sticks of TNT is you can just, instead of lighting it like that, oh shit. <laughs> you can just left click it and left click it and left click it and left click it they're not lit so you don't have to really worry hell you can even pick up the dynamite and the same works for pipe bombs okay now what you can do and I th hope this works out quite well is you can shoot them. Okay, maybe not. Maybe you have to light them. Alright, this is going to get dangerous. I have to throw a football through a, f a tire, essentially. Woo! Ha 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 ha! Landed it right back where it started. Awesome. So as you can see, cobblestone, that's what happens to it. Um... And it was multiple explosions at once because of each stick of dynamite being in there. <laughs> nice. And a beautiful little crater, too. So as you can see, that's that's how you can do different effects with explosives. Um, there's, of course, the, the type that you plant, uh, like a block. There's the type that you can light and throw. And that's an air if you throw it high, because it does fly on a ballistic arc, so you have to arc, you know, kind of aim it up a little bit. So light throw high and as you can see you can air burst it too so you might be able to I mean it's a far-fledged far-fledged thing uh, but you could probably blow up those rongo birds also known as zombies out of midair or you can use them to make noise to draw zombies in 
I seem to be pretty good at that right now. Ha <laughs> ha! Bullseye! So as you can see, you know, it's a little timing thing that you have to do. Um, one thing to note is that with the, z the type that you place, like these, any zombies killed by these, you will not be credited with as a kill. And the reason why is it's indirect damage. You know, let's actually let's blow this son of a bitch up. <laughs> uh, indirect damage will not count towards your kill count. So if you're like, you know, I gotta ma get as many zombies killed and on my scoreboard as possible, well, best of luck to you, but if you do it with the planted types of dynamite it won't happen I can't get it through the door but you can stack it too by the way it has to be on top of an adjacent block otherwise it falls I don't know why it's not sticking there interesting luckily it didn't blow up in our faces that would that would have been a bit bad. Alright, so let's just go out with a bang here. Oh, those lights are flying. And I wasn't dying. That was a hell of a bang. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I hope that the, some value could be pulled out of what I've done here. I mean, yes, I did make a big, huge mess. I wasn't overly scientific about it. Like, you know, this is the exact numbers. You numbers nerds can have a field day with, with this all you want. Uh, leave your stats in the comments because I don't like dealing with numbers. Uh, it just really chased my hide with the OCD and all that crap. But, uh, but this is f for fun, but also to kind of show you a little bit how it works or doesn't work. And, um, so if you're going to use TNT or any other, you know explosives like the ones I've used, um, you know there's things to be wary of, uh, things to keep in mind like the ranges for how far one stick will go, or multiple sticks as it may be. So there's a little example. Um, it de depends on the terrain uh, that the dynamite is placed on it depends on the, the building materials if you're doing it in a structure um, you know all these different f factors will weigh in on the blast radius and the amount of damage done so that's something to consider and I hope that this proves helpful to you in some way or another to me, I don't care. I'm just having damn fun. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we've gone longer than I really wanted to do for this episode, uh, this bonus episode. But anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Learned something from it. Like, dislike, you got to comment either way. Keep it polite. Keep it constructive. If you have any information you want to add to the discussion... By all means, add that in the comment section, and I may come back and revisit some of these bonus episodes uh, with whatever suggestions you guys may have and see how they pan out. Uh, if you hear any rumors or, or things about how the game works or little quirks about the game, let me know in the comments, and I will do what I can to either verify them or myth-bust them. So uh, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and follow me on Twitter so you can know when my regular episodes are up, as well as when I do these extra episodes, these bonus episodes that I've been wanting to do for a while, but I haven't, in because I just haven't had time. So anyways, hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, see you later. <laughs> Twitch.
Haha, <laughs> you thought the episode was over? No, no. I know what you guys were thinking. You saw me doing all this splody stuff? Yeah, I had to do this for you guys. Well, actually, it's for me, but for you guys, too. So, uh, 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 uh. bringing down the house. <laughs> we blow stuff into another dimension. <laughs> yeah, I thought you guys would get a kick out of that. Alright, that's it. Go home now. You don't have to keep watching. Alright now, goodbye. Have a good day. See ya. <laughs> See you later. Twitch. Twitch.